We're gonna talk about home and heritage. And in here, it's a whole bunch of little short devotionals. In this book, Red Letter Basics, that I wrote asking the question, what does Jesus say? For many of us, we don't think about home and heritage on a regular basis. So I'm gonna read this one passage and then at the end, we're gonna come back to what does Jesus say about home and heritage? Matthew 6, 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Because we're on the YouTubes right now. Oh, everyone say hi to Sarah. Hi. No, Sarah, <laughs> Sarah doesn't say hi to Sarah. Uh, this is Blake. Hello. Hi, Blake. Oh, hello. This yeah. is Sarah's brother. Uh, that's who you are. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we oh, are on our way cool. to the American Airlines Center to uh, the 21 Pilots concert. Mm -hmm. Okay, Blake, what is your favorite song by them? Oh, my goodness. Without a doubt. Has I haven't be. heard that song before. <laughs> are you sure about that? Okay, we'll see you there. in the car feel like their ears are underwater right now? No. No? No? No. Nope. I'm completely fine. Here, I'm going to go wide angle on the camera. Uh, that was a really cool concert. It really, sh I love seeing how creative the, like, set design is and everything and how um, the flow in, is. And, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm trying I'm to I'm blocking the mirror. Drive. I'm going to talk to y'all later. How about that? <laughs> So, concert was fun. Uh, one of my favorite parts is just seeing all the like creativity that goes into building the sets and everything. It was really loud. Funny enough, the, I have a decibels reader on my phone, and funny enough, it was actually quieter than the Crew 22 worship band. Yeah, I'm working from home today. Got coffee. And in maybe an hour or so, a plumber is coming by. Hi, Panda. So we're getting a plumber to adapt these connections right here for a sink and then a toilet for right here. Anyways, we moved into this house in September of last year. So it's been a full year and I have had multiple plumbers come by and look at it and it just hasn't worked out. This is a cool story. So I'm like pacing back and forth right now because this is so cool. <clears throat> I'm editing the video right now and I realized that I didn't do a good job of explaining why I'm talking about getting plumbing work done on our house. So we moved in in September to this house and this has been a core project that I've been trying to get done for a year. Every plumber I get over is either too expensive, they're semi-retired, or they're just too busy. And I've had a lot of plumbers come over. And I have had ministry-type experiences with every single one of them. Like one of the guys that came over, we ended up having a two-and-a-half-hour-long conversation uh, about spiritual leadership in his family and, and some church hurt that he's gone through in the last few years with, with COVID and things like that and some divisive things there and was able to minister to him. And I actually gave him a copy of More Than a Carpenter, which I give to a lot of people that come over. Uh, but uh, the book that I've been doing these little devotionals from Red Letter Basics that I wrote, I gave him one as well. Um, it's actually not out yet. 
um, it's still getting edited in, in the prototype phase. So um, I'll be sharing more with you guys on that in another later video. Uh, but the guy that did come over, Juan, he leads an AA group at the church that Sarah and I have been going to for years. And um, I was like, wow, that's so cool. So we got to talk about that. He has an awesome testimony. And um, I asked him how many people is in his AA group. And he said 12. I was like, come here, let me check this out really quick. Had exactly 12 more than a carpenter books with us. Um, and you'll see me giving more away later to a church that Sarah and I are visiting. So he was able to share those books with his group and hit me up later that weekend. I was like, dude, thank you so much. They were so blessed by this and encouraged. And anyways, so that's why I'm talking about all these plumbers and why you're about to see more from Juan. Okay. He's going to be here in a few minutes. Going to get him set up. Sarah's about to leave for work. And then uh, I just got different work things to do today. There's a lot of administrative work in ministry for those who don't know that, you know, it, it's a joy to serve Jesus in any way. Administrative stuff is not my gifting. Uh, it's a skill that I've learned, but it's not my spiritual gifting. And so it takes extra energy for me to do administrative type stuff, but I've got, you know, probably about 50 emails today and a couple calls, then some fundraising calls, things like that, and gotta manage some social media things, but you know, that's what a general administrative day looks like for me. I might show you some B-roll footage of that. It'll be real exciting. So the plumber's here and I'm holding the panda. This is the uh, vanity that we're gonna be putting in. And this is the bathroom right now, but he's readjusting all the plumbing and everything. It's looking good. These are boxes of more than a carpenters that are left over from the uh, Together 22 event. And uh, for those who don't know, we had 40,000 copies that a ministry partner purchased for us to give away, and we were only able to give away 20,000, which is still a lot. <laughs> uh, so now what we've done is we're allowing people to have them for free, as long as they cover shipping. Well, Sarah and I are looking into new churches um, since we moved to a new city. And one of those churches is doing a, an apologetic series, and they want, uh, I asked them if they wanted some, and they said, absolutely. But what I'm doing here is at the event, um, some of their volunteers stuffed a pencil and a little response card into each book. So now we got to go through and take all the stuff out. Panda, are you a working dog? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Boom. So now Sarah's just got to decorate and I got to finish the cabinets. But yeah, Juan did a good job. He's outside cleaning up. Took the exact amount of time we expected and nothing went wrong. Everything was perfectly smooth. So, when I was interacting with these plumbers, I, I was honestly getting a little frustrated because I kept engaging with the plumber. He would come over, he'd look at the job, and then it'd be too expensive. It'd be whatever. And it's easy, it was easy for me to get distracted of my purpose here on earth and, and 
think that this is my home here right now. In a way it is because we make home where we are. We, we make things, we bring a certain comfort to the places that we are that make it home. And uh, we do leave a heritage. We leave a lineage. We have a reputation that we leave behind. But ultimately that's not our home. We're, we're guests here on this earth. Um, in, in Psalm 119, 111, the psalmist says to the Lord, your testimonies are my heritage forever, for they are the joy of my heart. When we testify to the goodness of God, when we testify to the things that he's doing, when I testify to these plumbers who are coming over to my house and and engaging with them about the gospel and what the Lord is doing in their life, that is our heritage forever. Those types of things, that is the kingdom of God. When Jesus says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all of these things will be added to you. In Matthew 6, he was just coming out of the Sermon on the Mount. He's talking about earthly things that we deal with, how we live amongst each other. When we first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these earthly things are added to us. Like they, it naturally will come after that. So often we flip it and we chase these earthly things and neglect the eternal things. But if we seek first the eternal things, the kingdom of God, these earthly things will be added to us. Us as a ministry team, when we partner together, we are focusing on those things that are eternal and beyond us. And we are putting the kingdom of God ahead of our earthly needs. I want us to remember always what God is doing in our lives and also through our lives. I'll see you next month.